Sugary drink companies speak to children early, often when parents are not looking. And now a new study finds that in 2010, teens saw 20% more ads for sugary drinks than they did in 2008. Medical reporter Meg Ferris found out why health experts are concerned that the most unhealthful food products are targeting youth. The new study shows that the young are being bombarded by the ads on TV and everywhere they turn. At school, through concerts and sporting events, they also reach them through Facebook, YouTube and product placement in video games. Despite health and nutritional recommendations that children should have water when thirsty, with skim milk and limited amounts of real 100% fruit juice, the number one source of calories in the diets of teens is sugary drinks soft drinks, energy drinks, fruity flavored drinks, and sports drinks. They have absolutely no nutritional value. Children's behavior is easily conditioned. Last year, sugary drink companies spent nearly a billion dollars to reinforce the message to young people. In some cases, minorities are especially targeted. They're being brainwashed by industry to want to like these foods. Parents condition children to want to like something. Remember hearing, eat all your broccoli and you'll get ice cream as a reward? Well, studies show that if parents would reverse that and say, eat all your ice cream and you'll get broccoli as a reward, children will actually like the broccoli more. And the body doesn't feel as full drinking calories as it does eating them. In fact, just one small eight ounce sugary drink a day increases a child's risk of obesity by 60 percent. Let me strongly encourage parents to go to this website and get enlightened because when you read this, you're, you're going to get angry. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Studies show what young people see in advertising they will prefer to eat or drink. For all the details of the latest study, check out our website at www.